Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making chicken mole. This was requested by a viewer who wanted a simplified mole sauce recipe using mole de vaso. This is store-bought mole sauce. Very simple, four ingredients go into it and it's so easy to make and so delicious. Here's how I do it. Okay, to start I'm going to be using an almost two pound package of um, chick bone in chicken thighs. You could use two pounds of chicken breast, boneless skinless, boneless thighs. This is what I have to use today and it's right under two pounds. So I'm going to season it and bake it. You could boil this for its broth. I know that's kind of how my family did it growing up, but I prefer baked chicken. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so my chicken thighs are here and I'm going to liberally season it with some seasonal seasoning salt. If you're measuring this, maybe about a teaspoon of seasoning salt, or I don't know, start with a half teaspoon of salt or seasoning salt. I'm gonna go in with some onion powder, garlic powder, and cracked black pepper. And you'll just wanna give it a mix, and I'll probably season it again once I put it on the pan. This is going into a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for around 55 minutes to an hour. Actually, it's probably gonna be something like 50 to 55 already in the oven. I'm going to make three and a half cups of my own chicken broth. Now, because I'm baking my chicken, I'm not going to have chicken broth to use, so I'm going to go ahead and make my own. You could use your homemade chicken broth, store-bought chicken broth. I'm using chicken bouillon powder, I'm gonna add around three and a half teaspoons to warm water. Do the trick. And now I'm just going to mix it. And this is my chicken broth. Super easy mole sauce, four ingredients. Three and a half cups of chicken broth, one container of mole sauce from the store, a little bit of peanut butter. I'm using sun butter. I'll be using maybe a tablespoon or two of this. And one tablet of Mexican hot chocolate. This is 3.1 ounces, 90 grams of Mexican chocolate. That's it, four ingredients, super easy mole sauce. And if you do not like a sweet chocolatey mole sauce, then adjust the ratios of the chocolate and the peanut butter to your preference. Okay, so before you make your mole, you're gonna need to open this jar. So here's an easy way to do it. Flip it upside down on a towel and slide a pretty sturdy knife here and you're just kind of gonna bend back the lid a little bit. There we go. And you're gonna hold it firmly because it will start leaking out, but I wanna make sure I get enough. All right, so over another napkin. There, <laughs> okay, that worked. For now, I'm gonna keep it on a medium heat. So. Another issue people might have is getting the mole out of the jar because it's kind of like compacted, oily, but chalky at the same time. So I took my little knife that I used to open it with and kind of ran it through the edges and that should help you get it out easier from the jar. So as you can see, it pretty much came out in one piece. So yeah, that was pretty much three and a half jars. It was a little over three and a half. I'm also going to add just one tablespoon of the peanut butter. So that's one full tablet and another tablespoon of the peanut butter or some butter that I'm using. I'm also going to add another half cup of water so in all, I've used four cups of liquid. Once this combines well, I'm going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes. Okay, so my chicken is done and it cooked, for, just like I said, around 50, 55 minutes at 375. I'm just gonna let it hang out and rest. And at this point, you can let it cool and if you wanna shred it and add it to your mole sauce, you definitely can. But I like to serve whole pieces and ladle over the sauce, but it's definitely up to you. Okay, so I went ahead and served a piece of chicken with some of my rice that I made. Now I'm just going to ladle on this rich mole sauce. Take it 
take a look at that. <laughs> I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.